Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am here working on um, our, what do you call it, 9 by 12 envelope. <laughs> Woo, sorry about that. Uh, faux front envelope here that we've been doing. So what I have done since I was with you guys last is glued this envelope down. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in it yet, but, and I glued it all the way down because it's already a pocket, so I didn't think it needed another one behind it. Plus, <clears throat> with the, um altered notebook in here it's just kind of tight and I don't like I said I don't want this to be too 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 thick because otherwise it's not going to close uh, very well so these are things that you have to think about when you do things like this so there's that and then um, I also worked on covering our junk mail with some more of the papers I did that yesterday I just wasn't in the mood for um, turning on my camera and all that and I obviously need to do some fixing right there because you can still see the the junk mail through there which is something that we do not want to see so let me put a little glue there and see if I can't get that to stay together hopefully it will if not we'll have to come up with a new idea so um, what I thought I would do today is I cut out I printed all of my um, digi out on just regular printer paper so I backed it with some of the roll of craft paper this type of paper that comes in a big roll and then I just cut it out and scored it to fold so that's as far as I've gotten with that and I thought what we could do is turn this into kind of a flip off the side here of this so it'll flip open and you can still write here. That's kind of what I was thinking. And then I thought maybe it would be cool to put her somehow on here. So that's kind of what I want to work on now. So um, all I did, like I said, was just uh, collage different pieces of paper. And this is that pocket that was already on this, um, this little piece of junk mail. So I just decorated it and glued it down so that it'll be a pocket and I gotta make a tag for that as well but for now let's work on this let's get this glued down I just wanted to show you guys that this um, that craft paper works really well for this type of thing because you can close it up and um, it just gives it a little thickness but it's easy to fold still because that's one problem sometimes I have with um, like cardstock it can be tricky to get it to fold right I, I think it kind of can bend weird and just not really I mean you can crease it and everything it's just a little thick is what I'm trying to say I guess just not coming out of my mouth so I just want to make sure this all gets glued down really well and I also want to check to make sure I don't glue the entire pocket closed because I've done that so a lot of times what I do is stick my bone folder in <laughs> That's my little cheat, so that um, it never does touch, really. <clears throat> so yeah, that way, because some things you want on thicker paper when you're doing these digi kits, and other things you don't, you know. And so if they're all on the same page, it makes it really tricky to do. So I just thought this might be a good way to, um, you know, make it a little thicker, but not have to make the whole page thicker, if that makes any sense. And I also wanted this to, you know, be able to see the back. I thought about just gluing it straight down, but then the problem is you have to leave the slap open and then maybe glue it this way, which wouldn't be horrible because I did decorate the whole thing. But I also wanted to see the back, so I was like, I want to turn it into a flip. <clears throat> so it's going to actually hook on this way. This piece is going to be glued down, so we don't have to worry about decorating that but this will go here. I think I'm going to put it above this part. And I have a little piece of lace that um, I thought would go good on here and then we'll just tuck it around the other side. So we want to put it on here. I probably should have, I didn't even think of that, sewn it on, sewn the lace on before I closed the envelope, but too late now, so I'm not going to worry about it, because that would have probably been a smart way to do it. 
I probably could run a little stitch up the side, but I don't want to take the chance of making it so that envelope doesn't close very well, because that would be kind of a bummer, or not close, but you know, you can't get anything in and out of it very easily. Alright, and then I'm going to try to line it up as best I can anyway. Flip it up to the back. And I'm going to use a little bit stronger glue on the back since it doesn't matter if we see it. I don't think it will have a problem on the front because it's not like a huge heavy item or something like that. I mean it will be opening and closing, but I think it'll be alright. I'm going to leave just a little bit of looseness to it. I don't want to like pull it so taut because I want it to be able to open and close without, you know, flipping it up kind of thing because it's trying to um, stretch so far. Plus it's a lace. I don't want to like rip it or something. Alright, so that's going to have to dry. I think what I will do is find something to set this on. I'm just looking for a piece of plastic that I can set it on. This plastic bag will work. I just want something on here so that I can lay it here and still work on it. Alright, so we've got our little cat lady here. And see this will open and close now. So I think that'll work. And I kind of want something, I mean there's lots behind her, but I feel like it needs um, just, I don't know, something else. I don't know if one of these would work. I don't know, I don't really want to cover any of that up. I'm trying to think what I could put on there. Like lace or something like that might work. Uh, let me see. Just a little something. Yeah, maybe something kind of like that would work. And I just fussy cut her out entirely instead of um, leaving her on the little square, but that's why I did them that way on the squares of cream colored uh, cardstock was so that, you know, you can, if you don't want to fussy cut it out, you've got a nice area to use. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do right there. Get some glue on her. I hope you're all having a nice day. Sorry, I'm horrible. <laughs> I just start going because I get thinking of what I want to do and then kind of rude. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm getting some crafting done. Spending some time in your happy place. I know it makes me happy. And I'm going to put a little bit of this like in the middle of her to go on that other lace and I'm just going to put like a little kind of dot of it there because I don't want too much and some of it will go from her through so I think it will be alright. And I did her on regular paper too which might have not been the greatest idea ever but turn this a little bit this way. Alright, I need to get one of those little cards like Rachel and a few other people use to kind of flatten stuff down. I always end up using my bone folder, which also works, but, or either that or I get my hands all totally sticky. So that will open like that, and then we need a card or, you know, something to go inside, but I'll work on that. Um, and then we need a tag here. 
So I think that will work because I don't think that's going to be too awfully thick. I may have to work on um, some kind of closure for it, but let's see. I think once it ends up folded into this for a while, it's not going to be a problem. And I might have to work on the clasp a little bit more too to make sure it stays. I did do some stitching around here. So I'm kind of thinking I need a little bit of stitching around this. But then I won't have... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Because then I'll, ha I'll be stitching on that pocket and I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's going to get attached like that. So I think I'm going to have to take this out. So it's a little bit more flat to get this glued down properly. And we're going to have to probably use quite a bit of glue to get it to stay. So I want to make sure I just get my edges really well. Yeah, yesterday, sorry, I was just thinking about work. Um, we put out a cart, well, the PE teacher did, put out a cart that has, you know, all different balls, footballs, kickballs, soccer balls, all that on it, um, hula hoops, jump ropes, all those kind of things. And uh, <laughs> I don't think we've had a chance yet. I've, I've been doing a lot of testing, so I don't know, but to tell the kindergarten kids, you know, kind of the expectations of playing with all those items and how to take care of them and just, you know, all that. We go over all that stuff every year with the kiddos. And uh, they put that cart out yesterday. <laughs> and we had kindergarten through third grade out on the playground for lunch. And it got slightly insane, I have to say. I was like, Dad, tomorrow can we have that just over on the big kid's side until we get <laughs> these little guys a little more used to, you know, don't grab it out of somebody's hands and just, you know, go over a few more of the rules of how we play with other people and not just grab things. But yeah, so <laughs> uh, you always think, okay, we're good. We've got this. Just when I was saying, I think I said the other day. It's, I think we finally got it, like it's getting so much better. <laughs> and then yesterday it was just not so, it was a little better today because we put the cart over on the older kids side for now. You know, eventually of course they're going to get to play with all of this stuff too. It's just that um, they need a little coaching on expectations and what to do and not to do. Because a lot of them, sorry I needed a drink, um, a lot of them have never really had anybody else to play with, you know, they might have one younger sibling or something, if that, and um, a lot of them don't go to preschool and things like that, so it can get a little bit tricky with the sharing and how we behave with our friends, you know, it's a little different than sometimes at home how you behave, as we all know. So anyway, it was, uh, it was quite crazy, I have to admit. Okay, I'm going to grab some tags and things that we can decorate up, if I can find them. I want to do something different in that big front pocket, but I'm really not sure what. Um, also, we have, well, I guess it's really just that. I have this pocket over here, but that'll probably be like a, I can make a longer tag. And then something in here and we want to see it whatever it is but I feel like it needs to be even bigger than that too I mean I can do multiple like layers of things in there which is my that might be what happens have these and there's these ones with the all over so I don't know but I'm feeling like I want at least one pretty big maybe I should just cut one out of some manila file folder 
I want more than one thing in there though. So let's see. This is one that I was just backing other things with. Maybe about four and a half, maybe. And I just want to see how long this is. I, get, I, I really don't. Well, I guess if I decorate it, it's not going to matter if it's got those things on there. I'm just going to cut off this weird stuff at the bottom. And then maybe we can make a tab up there again using our envelope punch board. And if you haven't done this, if you just um, put whatever you want in there, kind of in the middle of the, there's like a little metal piece right there. I don't know if you can see down in there. But if you're kind of in the middle of it, it'll just punch off the corner for you and give you, the, you know, that tab type thing like this. And so since these don't match, I'm going to see if I can get, I'm going to cut just down that side. It's really hard because they don't match the way the company cuts them. So, and then it just kind of looks weird. So I'll just make my own. <laughs> that way they'll match. I always forget about that. I think, oh, I'll just put one on the other side. It's like, uh, yeah, this is not going to look the same. So something like that. I think will work. All right. So we can collage on this, and we need to keep in mind the height of our window. I wonder if you would be able to see, probably only see like, let me try something, let's figure out where the window is, because that's pretty tall. I get a pencil. I don't know if I'm going to be able to mark. It's pretty tight. It got tight when I glued it on, but let me see if I can kind of at least make some kind of mark down there. Yeah, so that gives me the where my window's at if I use that particular item. So I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't even get like any of the pumpkins or anything. So I don't think I'll use that. Let's see what else could we use. I want to use a piece of this for background for sure. I have a giant mess. I, it's really just right here for a change instead of everywhere, but it's still a mess. And the less. Okay, so I've used the witch. Oh, we should use the we could use the little devil lady. Maybe we would be able to see her. How much of her would we see? Well, we could see that much of her. That wouldn't be bad to do that. It'll look kind of weird, though, I think, with where it's at on the tag itself. So I'm thinking it might be better to use... like the leaves or something because hmm. then it wouldn't really matter as much where it was okay so I think I'm going to start with a piece of this um, these are my vintage ads for my vintage ads digi and they um, so they're on my Etsy they came out of an 1873-74 railroad directory. And so they really were this color and the blue that's in there and then the kind of cream color. So uh, I didn't change anything about them. That's the colors that they are. And it was the Virginia and Truckee Railroad. Those are available if you know if you're interested in that kind of thing. French rotisserie. I wonder what in the world. Let's 
cigars. I guess I should have looked at the ad first. I didn't really think about which one I wanted. I'm just looking at the ads. color I think for this. I'm just going to go with this one that I ripped. It's not like it really matters. It's just going to be mostly background anyway. So I think I'm going to go I'll use the French the French side <laughs> instead of the rotisserie side. Something like that. Just for something, something on there. Probably won't be around a whole lot this weekend doing videos because we're going on a um, little fishing trip type thing so if you guys are wondering where I'm at that's where I will be for the weekend to do for the, you know, kind of the end of the season type thing. And we're going to watch the first football game from one of our college teams here in the area. So yeah, it'll be a busy weekend. And my kids have first first uh, home football game on Friday too so that's before we leave so we'll be busy busy Page, I think. See if there's anything else that's cool in that that old book. We scored with the little Murphy's grave poem, <laughs> or whatever it was the other day. Okay. I think I'm actually going to turn it over so I can see where that window is when I go to do that because if I glue something over the top of it that's not going to be great. I should look at that book really quick. I like coming from the back. I don't know why. I'll probably just grab something out of it. Oh, that one's dog-eared. Let's use that. It's just got a good color to it. I don't know. I just need a piece to go up along here, I think. Because it's... Uh, None of these pieces are quite long enough to go all the way to the top, and then I can just I 
looks cool when you fold it. It's so I mean, you know, 1800s. <laughs> that was a while ago. So I think I'll do something like that and then I can put a little something here. Like this. sort of a thing. Here's our Tim Holtz stamp and just put a few more things on there. I was starting to get <laughs> just sitting out as long as I was working on that other part it starts to dry out already and it won't slide it's already running out of glue again I feel like I'm just mowing through the glue lately because I probably am Yeah, my kids are super jazzed because they get to play and my daughter gets to conduct and they're excited about that. It's just a little rough the first the first game. Uh, it's a little rough. But I think it's that way for the football team and everybody. It's just all pretty new beginning of the year. I actually grew up in um, Virginia City, Nevada, and so that's why I have that book on the Virginia and Truckee Railroad. And my family at the time that I lived there, and my dad was still alive and all that, we were fourth generation up there, uh, miners. My dad didn't mine, he was county assessor, but... A lot of history up there for sure. Well, actually, I should say down there from where I'm at now, but we always said up there because <laughs> it's up in the mountains. It's an interesting place to grow up. It's so small compared to, I mean, I graduated with like 24 kids, and my kids are graduating with like 400. <laughs> so I tell them stories, and they're just blown away it's so different. Well, I mean, obviously the times are different too, but I didn't have all the cool music programs and stuff that they have. They're very fortunate to have all that. I was in band, but it was just a really small, only thing we really did was kind of like pep band when we had games, but It was a very, very small deal. I want to just tear this a little bit. I know I'm tearing off that cool ad part down there, but... I like all that white. I tore it the wrong direction. Yeah, 
just a little piece like that, I think. Sorry, bad words on this stinking paper. It drives me crazy. I try not to have that stuff. <laughs> I didn't write the book though. Alright, so what should we put? I don't know, I guess the leaves probably because I think, I like the little lady, but I don't think you'll be able to see her well enough for that to work very well. I'll probably leave some of this stuff on here. Just maybe come side of it more. to put one of Tim Holtz pieces or something on there. I kind of think it needs a little something plain too. It's getting a little wild. stitching too. I kind of like that bottom part. Let's see what we have in the Tim Holtz stuff. Some of it is stuff that I found and I'm not totally sure. I mean I pretty much remember like I know this is a mausoleum that I found and these witches I could probably put the witches on there because you'd probably be able to see them where's that um, you can come up like this more yeah I think I'll do that because I think you will be able to see them already fall almost I mean you know not technically but it's just crazy time is just flying I feel like I cannot keep up with it it doesn't help that like my daughter's graduating this year which I just cannot even wrap my head around at this point in time that just seems not possible. Not possible. Come up just a bit. I'm going to have to kind of do this sort of thing, I think. She doesn't know what to do either when she gets out of school. I'm sure it'll be something musical. I mean, I'm about positive of that. She's just not sure where she wants to go to school and what she's going to do, you know, what she wants to study. Exactly. 
And you know, she doesn't have to know some of that right now, but we do at least kind of need to get an idea where she's going to go to school. <laughs> that would uh, be helpful. I don't think it'll be far. She's kind of a homebody like me, so the chances of her going anywhere very far away is pretty slim. I had a little piece of that lace, and I don't know where I put it. I don't know if that even does anything at all for that. Not really. I think it's fine like that. Once I stitch around it, I think it'll give it a little more interest. i got to find a spot that doesn't have glue on it. So if any of you know of any cool type jobs for music, <laughs> she's talked about possibly like being an orchestra teacher or a conductor. She likes to do, you know, she likes being drum major and conducting. Um, possibly library science, which I know has nothing to do with music. I'm just, but yeah, just if you, if anybody knows of anything different that's like a good field to go into kind of thing. I'd love to know because I am not musically inclined at all, so I really don't know very much about all that. And uh, so it's hard for me to help her. I mean, you know, we've looked stuff up on the internet and everything, but it's it's just really hard to tell. And you hear people have the coolest jobs, and it's like, how'd you ever come up with that? Like, where'd, how'd you learn that was a thing? <laughs> That's the kind of thing we always talk about would be neat if she found something like that, but... Yeah, I like to be able to see that through there. I think that's good. And then on the back, it really doesn't need anything. I do need to erase my pencil lines, obviously. Maybe we could put some, um, like, cardboard, corrugated cardboard lines, but I'm not sure where that's at right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew this around, and then I will come back. So I'll be back just a minute. Okay, hi, everybody. I'm back. Um, so I added a few things. I added this little number 31 and a little piece of Tim Holtz washi tape right there with the little like uh, scientific number notations. And then I couldn't find my corrugated cardboard, but I have one of these old things from Creative Memories and it has all the lines. So I just stenciled them on there like that and put one of Tim Holtz leaves down there at the bottom. So that one is done and we can look at how this is going. Kind of this disaster a little. I don't know if there's an e a way to do this crafting thing neatly because I sure can't figure it out. I know some people seem like they got it figured out, but I don't know. I'm not good at that. Oops. Must have been stuck on her a little bit. So I'll have to fix, put that down a little bit more. And then this flips open, and this flips open. So we need a tag here and a tag or something there. I need to fix that a little bit, I can tell. I'm just going to put a dot of glue right under here. Or try to, anyway. Sometimes easier said than done. And then I'm going to set this over here for a minute. Oh, let's put that. Oh, sorry. Jeez. Just yanked the whole entire thing. Put this in here. A little tight over here, but I think that's just a matter of being broken in. You can see the witches. This is a little curly. Okay. So what time do we have? I forgot I started over, so it's not going to tell me how many minutes. Okay. I'll just do it. One more thing, and then um, I'll let you guys go. So let's do some kind of tag to go in that, that little pocket in that 
folder if I can find. Do one of these. That isn't totally gross. Let's... I had them all folded the wrong direction, so I'm going to fold one the other direction because I want a longer tag. These make great tags. These dollar store books are great for this. This is one that I took the guts out of. And I'm sure you've seen Gail and Rachel and everybody do this. So it does work great. Put the lid on that. Okay, so that's going to go in. We'll do this pocket right here. Pick up how long we need it. Wow, that pocket's tight. Let me see if I can. I mean, I don't want to rip it, but I, it just needs to get. It's like I know it's a pocket. It just doesn't want to. Okay, so yeah, we're going to cut that down a bit. Where's my I'm going to cut the bottom because it's not equal. I do a little trim down the side just to get rid of that rough edge. Paper that I use the uh, food coloring on and leaves. You can't see the leaves really well, but you can kind of like this one right here. So I think I'm going to try to get that one on here, but let's get this straight edge off first. That's if you can hold the paper right. Thought that might be a fun backer. Put a tag. Because that way you can still write on it, but it's at least got a little bit of something. It just needs a tiny little bit off. Okay. And that'll be our back. Thank you to all of the people who have been watching Rachel at Roxy Creations. Um, she made that mini using my mushrooms and butterflies and I've gotten all kinds of support from you guys on that mushrooms and butterflies digi. So thank you. You guys are awesome. It is a fun one and I haven't had a whole lot of interest in it. I just, you know, it's hard for me to get... I don't have as many subscribers as like Rachel and Gail, so I thank them so much for helping me out by being on my design team and getting my digis out there and stuff. They're amazing ladies, and of course the stuff they make is just amazing. So that was super awesome of them and very nice of all their subscribers to give me some support. Love that. I try to do the same. All right, so what should we put on the front of this one?
starting to run out of stuff. I could use this, I guess, a piece of it. That's that, um, what do you call it? Tea bag. <laughs> Woo, brain. Uh, tea bag that I drew on right there. So I think that would be kind of fun. Fall sort of thing to put on there. Let's see, let's try to get a bit more there. It's like all done already. Let's do this side a little bit more. Try to do it straight. <laughs> That would be different, right? Let's find those little. I'm gonna have to scoot it over. There we go. Hopefully that's straighter. I can just snip off these crazy bits. This way, maybe. I'm going to take this off. Then we can put something maybe colorful or what? I don't know that you'll see a whole lot of that. Yeah, you're just not going to see very much of it at all. I could just do a little lace just for the texture over there, especially since this piece got all mangled up, it looks like. big enough piece. We don't need much. Sorry I'm so quiet, I <laughs> guess I talked about all I had to talk about, but at least it's relaxing, you can just work on whatever you're working on. Yeah, tea bags are kind of fun to draw on if you've never tried it before. 
I just did a quick kind of pencil sketch and then I used um, colored pencils to color it and it just kind of has a neat texture to write or draw on. I don't think I'm going to cut the corners I was going to, but I kind of just like it like that. I uh, will add a piece of fabric up at the top when I stitch around it. But I just kind of like it like that. Alright, so I'm going to stitch around that. And I'll probably just let you guys go because it's not like it's earth-shattering information. And then you can see it next time when I come back. But that'll go right in there like that. That closes up. Oopsie, I almost forgot her. And I'll work on a tag for that one. That goes like that, and that goes like that. And I'm going to have to figure out a different way to do this because, see, it just pops back open. Then the fuller it gets, the more it's going to get like that. So I either need to like add to this or I don't know, but I'm going to have to look at that. So it's all trial and error. I've never made one of these, you know, with a 9 by 12 envelope. It's a lot bigger. Uh, smaller envelopes tend to stay folded and closed a little bit better, I think. So <clears throat> just some trial and error, I'm sure. But anyway, I will see you guys again next time. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye-bye now.